been almost 50 years since Diane von Fürstenberg designed her iconic wrap dress, and it remains in demand as ever. Now the fashion designer is devoting herself to passing on what she's learned over the years and celebrating other women in leadership. Well, Diane von Fürstenberg is with us now. Thank you for Hello. joining us. I mean, this is an extremely important conversation about women in leadership, and, and you've championed women and represented women well, all of your life. Well, let's say that I've, I've championed being a woman. And then, you know, I think that when you do it for yourself, then you open the doors for others. And that's what I've tried to do. Why have you felt the need to come to Davos? We're in 2024. Are oh. women's rights going backwards? I know, I know. Why have I come to Davos? Because they asked me to come and they asked me to speak. And um, it's interesting and to see what what is going on. And I'm just thinking that maybe now we, we should... Uh, kind of exploit the currency of kindness and maybe we'll start a stock market of kindness. But do you think that's been lost in recent years? It uh, seems that in politics we're not able to speak to each other anymore. Well, it's, it's now we are living a moment where everyone is so polarized, polarized and, uh, and it's a shame because, I mean, we are all humans and, and we have so much more in common than not in common. And I think that uh, it would be nice to kind of focus on that. And, you know, after the me, 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 maybe it should be a little bit more altruism. And, uh, but before being able to be altruist, what I tell every woman is that it's important to be true to yourself. And uh, you build your own strength first, and then you attach it with other, with other women. Do you worry about what we're living through at the moment? Again, you champion women, you have awards, you're also trying to run a business and, and, and you know, build the brand. What are some of the pitfalls you see out there? Well, right now the world is, is very scary precisely because people are in a state of despair and, and therefore, you know, everything is threatening. Climate is threatening, the, you know, the distribution of wealth is becoming unbearable and unsustainable. So there's a lot of major, major issues and the issues are so big that people are afraid. And, um, and a lot of, uh, and people, um, you know, invest in the fear. And uh, I, I, I try to be the opposite, you know, that fear is not an option and taking responsibility of you, yourself, first and then carry your, your own community and create community. But I do believe in survival. I believe in the light. Mm -hmm. I think we all should look for a little spot of light, build around the light, cherish the light, share the light. Because at the end, it's always the light that pushes the darkness away. You're really the epitome of glamour chic and New York. How do you think your New York is doing? Oh, am I New York? Am I New York? I don't know. I'm, you know, I was born in Europe. I was born in Belgium. I lived in New York. But I think the world is, is you know, the world is, is my home. And uh, what is really my home is uh, that I'm a human being. And I think that what is more, more important than anything is to honor life. And I think we should all think about honoring life every day. And um, that may switch a little bit, the <laughs> selfishness. Um, you, you've also built your brands, of course, through the wrap dresses and, and much more luxury. How do you think the luxury space is going right now? Um, you know, I think I would, I, rather than calling luxury, I would try to call it quality. I think that I created, uh, 50 years ago, I created a dress. That dress is still selling. That dress is also selling in vintage stores. So sometimes you may grab one and see that three people have, uh, have worn it, three generations. So that's sustainability. So I believe in quality of, uh, of, um, of clothes, but I believe in quality of women. and. Uh, I celebrate women and the beauty. Yeah. And for me, the, uh, the beauty in a woman is eye contact, smile, and body language. I mean, but but the, the quality luxury world has changed since you, you brought that iconic. Listen, There's so much of it now. I know. And the world is changing so rapidly. And, uh, but we are, it's going to change more. 
and it's going to change faster. Yeah. And we don't decide all of it. So that's why it's very important for each one individually to put our safety bel yeah. belt on. And our safety belt is being true to ourselves. But is it changing for the good or is it changing for the worse or somewhere in the middle? Uh, I think a lot is changing for the worse, and, uh, but I do believe in the good. And I do believe that out of the bad comes out the better. And I do have, I trust the, the young generation, even though I feel sorry for them, uh, that they have so much to deal with. And, and we have given them that. So the more, again, the more we can give young kids is to trust themselves. But this is what, climate change, of course. Um, AI, I, I don't know whether it's geopolitics. Yes, geopolitics, the wars everywhere, um, distribution of wealth, it's become unbearable. Yeah. Do, do you think about AI? Do I think about AI? How can you not? <laughs> and, uh, and, and also, but AI will be, you know, we will each have our own AI friend, our own AI alter ego. Uh, the problem with AI is going faster than any human can follow. And uh, what, I, what I fear is when it reaches weapons. I don't like weapons. I mean, not many people do if they're not controlled well, by I humans. Well, I don't know that no many people would like weapons. There's a lot of weapons around. But does it change the, the business world? Again, in your world of, of fashion, does it, I don't know if AI is an enabler or it could actually, it means job losses, like from a business perspective. Uh, you know, there's job losses, but then, then we all live in a different way. Uh, I don't know, and nobody knows. I mean, I'm friendly with a lot of people in there. Nobody knows, and um, nobody knows. So all we have to do is, I believe in being good. I believe in kindness, and I think kindness is a currency that we should promote. Um, Diane, there's, because of your work, actually, in women in leadership, do you think women in the last four to five years have found more of a voice because of the Me Too movement, or has COVID got, got on that back? Oh, I don't know. Women, you know, it goes in and it goes back, and, and, and uh, uh, but women, women are extraordinary. And women are always about solutions, you know, when the most submissive woman in the world, if there's a fire in the house, she's the one who gets the jewelry, the children, and get it out. So I do believe that, at the, at actually, I do believe that women, in the moment of emergency, in the moment of dangers, women do take over. So there's not enough. It look like it right now, but eventually. I was going to say, I mean, th this is you know one on one <clears> how <throat> to run a business. You, you want you want smart people with good instincts that put out fires or save the children. Businesses. Do you right. think there are enough women in business at the moment? Uh, there are women in businesses, it, but businesses do change. You know how they operate. I mean, I mean, look how much has changed in the last twenty years, and uh, so you know the internet just changed everything. Uh, I can live with any, I, all I need to live is my phone. So I have my AI friend already. What are you most looking forward to in Davos? Oh, look at this, look at where we are, you know? And I think that with all the problems and all the issues and all the inequalities, you come out and you look at the mountain and you look at the sky and you're happy to be human.